for Construction Pros, Con Expo 17 from the Las Vegas Convention Center. And with me now is Kip Eiderberg, VP of Public Affairs and Advocacy for AEM, the Association of Equipment Manufacturers, and they are our hosts. Kip, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Well, you're more than welcome. It's been a busy show, and I bet you nonstop from day one. Absolutely. It's been quite a ride. Uh, yeah. I've been strolling around the show for most of the day so far, and uh, i got to tell you, a lot of excitement in the air. Well, we'll give you a little chance to sit and relax here a moment. I want to pick your brain about the relaunch of the I Make America campaign. Yes, sir. And what's the purpose now, and where are you focusing? Well, Roger, I Make America launched seven years ago, and it is our grassroots advocacy campaign. It really started out right. as a way for us to get out and visit with our member companies, right. uh, visit with their employees, uh, and celebrate what they do for our industry. And it has evolved over time, and this year we decided we have a new Congress, we have a new president, uh, it was time for us to step up our game and do it a little differently. So uh, we relaunched I Make America earlier this year. Right. We have a brand new website with a lot of more resources, tools, and information that allows our members to advocate on our behalf. Is this just an avenue for you now to go into more, let's say, social media effort and that sort of digital posture as a, as, as a campaign launch, considering that seven years ago it wasn't as robust nearly as robust as it is today. You got it. Uh, so we obviously are very, very focused on using social media channels as part of our advocacy efforts. And so the new website has a lot more tools so that let's say you work uh, at a small plant in Ohio, uh, you know, you may not always be able to come to Washington and do the traditional shoe leather lobbying, right? right? The new website right. gives you all kinds of tools using social media channels to uh, you know, to get your voice heard and communicate with your lawmakers. So, what's the message you're going to bring to the average person out there who does work for one of the manufacturing companies that belong to the association? What is it you tell them? Well, first and foremost, we thank them for being part of our industry, and then we tell them that contrary to what a lot of people seem to think, be it in Washington or other places, U.S. manufacturing is not dead. In fact, it's stronger than ever. It's very much alive. Yeah, and you can see that at the show here in Las Vegas. Isn't right? there some Expo. evidence of it? <laughs> yeah, we should bring all of Congress here. Listen, there's a lot of iron and steel, but there is so much technology here yes. that's being brought to bear now in this marketplace, in this day and age. It's just amazing. It's almost impossible to keep up with. It is, and that's the story that we try to tell through I Make America, right, to the folks in Washington or in capitals across the country, is that you know it is not your grandfather's manufacturing or equipment manufacturing, I should say, industry. Right. Uh, it is a highly advanced, highly sophisticated, tech-forward industry, and there are a lot of great jobs, equipment manufacturing jobs in the U.S. that depend on it, and so. I make America, right? It's about making this country, and it's about the employees that make this country, and we want to make sure that people in Washington don't lose track of that. So for cross purposes, you're also out there promoting the fact that there are jobs available in this industry and where they can go for those jobs? Absolutely we do, and in fact, we just today, this morning, we had a press conference where we announced a new uh, economic impact study uh, that we put together with a team of economists. And that's also part of this effort, right? To tell members of Congress that this yeah. is a big industry. Yeah. There are a lot of jobs that depend on yeah. it. And they should really help U.S. manufacturing, not make it harder for us. Well, you know, that's feather in your cap, I might say, because there is so much emphasis on the need to improve communications and get the younger people involved in this industry and hopefully prompt them to generate an interest in working in this industry, not necessarily on a job site, but for all, any one of the various manufacturers that are out there, simply because they just run the gamut of, of very interesting jobs now. Right, and that's true, and in fact, you know, our best advocates for this industry are the men and women right. that work in it. Right. And so what we're doing this year with I Make America is we're taking members of Congress, governors as well, out to visit with our member companies, to visit with their employees, to tour the shop floor, to talk to the folks that help make America, because those are the folks that can tell the story about our industry better than we can in Washington. Absolutely, absolutely. Washington's just one little cog in that wheel. Yes, it is. But the wheel, the bigger, the larger we can make that wheel, of course, the more interest it's going to generate. 
Well, Kip Eidelberg, I appreciate you stopping by. Kip is Thank VP you for having me, Roger. I of uh, it. Public Affairs and Advocacy for <laughs> AEM, which is the Association of Equipment Manufacturers. And much success as the show goes forward. Thank and you very much, thanks Roger. Thanks for I taking time it. out of a very busy schedule to you stop bet. by. Anytime. Thank you. From Con Expo 17. <laughs>